Hey. Not too much in the front cover. Not bad. Okay. Damn. I see those in a minute. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Uh oh. This is a big problem. <laughs> That's a huge problem. Okay. You didn't have any oil pressure issues, did you? Uh, not that I know of. Hold on, let me see. And that goes here, right? On the cover, right up around the water pump. Yeah, right here. This thing was sitting like... Well, well in, inward? Well, no, like... Oh. That's for an oil galley. So it's supposed to be open? No, it's supposed to be plugged tight. Mm. Yeah, no, that's definitely not what's up. What the hell is up? How is that a thing? All right. Let's get that too. Maybe it's maybe it should be tension. No, nope, there's no tension on it. So why wouldn't it just slide, slide right off? off? Maybe. Oh yeah, just just so. There it is. Now let's let it go and it'll, there it is. So this'll, so this tensioner is gonna go up mm -hmm. and the, te the spring tension is gonna roll it and just let it go center or wherever it's gotta be, you know? Mm -hmm. Are we back, back to original point? Yeah. yeah. This should just slide off. This is just, is that cocked in there some way? No, that is very, very strange. Oh. Well, that's part of it. God damn. Okay, this is gonna have to, this is not, this is not okay. This is not okay. Oh yeah. Is it reusable though? I'm uh, gonna find out. Okay. So this is nothing like you've ever done before. I haven't done one of these before, no. Like, like, a, like a dual overhead cam? I'm talking about like... Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's fucking... Yeah. yeah. Honda, Toyota, like, yeah, all that shit. <laughs> right. it's, it, 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 it's the same thing. Yeah, so they... Three caps on the cam, and like, yeah, it's, it's the same. I mean, it's not really any... It's not really any different, you know? Uh -huh. These have different components. They don't have... Uh, what, the, the lifter cups or anything like that? These have rocker arms, and they have little lifters or lash adjusters that are hydraulic. Mm -hmm. So, I was going to get the internet mad at me by saying stuff like, uh, you know how everyone's like excited, oh, but God, the coyote's making all this horsepower. It's like, yeah, 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 I know, I know. And yeah. everyone's like, oh, the LS, the time zone passed or whatever. <laughs> right, right. All that silly stuff they're saying. What's going on here? <laughs> That's a short cam. Yeah. I'm used to those long, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, and they're hollow. Yeah. You didn't want that. It's not with really high spring load. Or maybe it doesn't matter in this case either. Who knows? Who knows? I know the uh, really big, like, like for real race engines, mm -hmm. they have um, the, the, the bearing diameter or the core of the cam is really large because mm -hmm. the spring pressure is just so crazy. They'll just bend that shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it wouldn't, it'd knock the lobes off one of these. I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, that's not. First startup. Yeah, it, it, it couldn't, you know? Um, but, uh, oh yeah, yeah, why would, why would they be mad at me? Because the new, the new Z06 motor. The new Z06 motor? Yeah, 5.5 liter. Oh, okay, yeah. 5.5 liter, flat plane. Um, and obviously if that's a problem, you just get rid of that. You just make it 90 degree, you know what I mean? Because just like this, like the Ford guys do. What's the difference though? Well, they have bigger bore centers or, or wider bore centers which means you're gonna have bigger bores, because they already do by a lot, mm -hmm. which means the valves and the cylinder heads are bigger. And on top of that, they don't have this uh, rocker roller follower deal. It's just a straight, it's camshaft, 
DLC lash cap valve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to have a lot of problems keeping up with that. The who is? Ford. Okay. Yeah, there's just no way. I mean, like, yeah, you can have your glory for the moment. <laughs> yeah, this, is my, this is what I believe. I mean, yeah. like, you know, who knows? I mean, I'm, I don't know. I just know those engines are brand new and no one's messed with them, like, at all. And uh, just looking at the architecture, how they designed it and what they're, like I said, I can look at the cylinder head and know. Mm -hmm. It'll have less weight. It'll have less weight than this system. Mm -hmm. And it'll have bigger spring. The ZR1 is supposed to have like, I don't know, like 900 horsepower mm -hmm. twin turbo. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's like your shell feel. And then they're supposed to have what they call the Zora, which is uh, the E-Ray. So it's an all-wheel drive vet. Okay, all right, but right. But like, it's E-Ray, so it's a big battery pack and it drives some power to the front wheels and with the motors and whatnot. But anyway, that's your thousand horsepower Corvette, right? With But in my opinion, you don't want that car. Even if it's got the best zero to 60 or whatever with the yeah. electric motor, it's heavy. It No, you just don't want that. You'd want the ZR1. And whatever happens with these motors, I think it'll be, I think it's gonna be pretty wild, but. No, the, the, the higher revving Voodoo motor okay. uh, with the different cylinder head has uh, uh, an eight or nine gram lighter mm -hmm. rocker assembly and they're bespoke. They're, very, they're, they're not the same. You can't just swap them over one to the other, you know? Mm hmm Oh, whoops, I almost forgot. <laughs> so if we get new ones, what, what would it matter? It wouldn't. Okay. It wouldn't. What they would do is um, you'd get a new cap. And uh, the, the company, I think it's MMR. I don't remember exactly. Um, but they claim that they're a bolt-on. Like, no, mm -hmm. never, 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 never. Oh, so you want to send you want to send this old thing with the stock main caps out to whoever? Yeah. And they, then have and them then get they, the new main they would, caps. They would get the new main them. caps okay. and they right. would fit them up perfectly. So the bearing clearance right. on the... on Because, the, you know, I mean, look, there's no... Uh, there's no bearing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, on a regular engine, you have a bearing that you put in, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. That's machined into the head. Right. So if you ever have a problem with the, with the cam bearing clearance, mm -hmm. the head has to, it, it cannot, it has to be machined. It's not <laughs> right, a, right, right. a thing. Right. So, and I just don't, and I'd rather have them like cut and size caps. Yeah, and that makes that sense. Stuff than just bolt them on and yeah. I don't know. And, yeah. and I don't know. I, I just, that's just my own personal that take makes, on that. That makes you know? sense. Easy. <clears throat> All right, so there's some aluminum chunks mm -hmm. made their way into the combustion chamber. Look, looks like all the valves are seat. Well, you will know. Well, yeah, well, unfortunately. With the spring tension against them, oh, yeah. it can kind of pull them tight. This one might not. You know what? Let's try something real quick. Might be hard to see in the light here. Oh, no, it's bent. See, look right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Gotcha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that one's bent for sure. And that's probably. And just looking at it, see, it's got some debris in it, right, in the cylinder. The cylinder wall itself isn't bad at all. And this, this is just sucked in from wherever it broke. That so carnage. probably that um, the debris that was in there when the valve closed it, Bennett. Okay. You know what I mean? It's, mm -hmm. not, like the, it's not like the piston hit it. You right. Know? It makes sense. Yeah, it didn't suck too much oil. I mean, there's... There's some in there, but right. you know, a lot of carnage, a lot of, a lot of little middle pieces. But I was just gonna say, just just uh, an observation. Like I said, I don't know if I'm, I can't say if I'm right or not right. at this moment. But looking at the plug, looking at the valve, and looking at the crown of the piston, you probably could have ran a little bit more timing if I picked up some more power. They're running it cold, mm. and you can tell that 
by the color temperature of the uh, or the temperature of the of the exhaust valve. Mm -hmm. See, exhaust valves, you know, are uh, typically run a lot hotter because they're open in the uh, where they're in that flame front, so they hang out in there, and typically they kind of look like whitish, almost like porcelain. See the wear pattern? Yeah. It's a little wavy. I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You may have had a little loss of the valve train stability. It's not on every roller, but you can definitely see it. Mm-hmm. So. And that would have been on the lobe, right? Or, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, the, the, the cam lobe makes direct contact with that. So it'll be the far one. <clears throat> Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you use your damn, uh, <laughs> your, uh, z z z z z yeah. It's over there. Right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> not everything is logical. <laughs> Some stuff is just not. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Well, you blew this head gasket first. See how it washed this out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you lifted the head gasket in the back, back here. So everything, everything went wrong on this side. Probably when you lifted the head gasket, then it went, maybe it cracked the piston at that point. I don't know, but you can see right where it hit. Oh yeah. Here's the good news. This, okay, this is bad, right here. Mm -hmm. They might have to repair the seat um, you know what I mean? Yeah. And there, there, there might be enough, and I don't know, again, they're, the guys are, are, are experts at this. They're going to have to, but depending on the thickness of the seat, you might be able to, to grind them or repair it. Right. And then just put in a new valve with a good, with a good valve job. Mm -hmm. You might not have to, um. Cause that's part of the head right there. What? That's all that in between the two. This here? Mm. Oh, all of this stuff. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That that's part of the casting. Yeah. Well, inside here, if there's so, if the valve wasn't in it, there's a, a and you can almost you can almost see the faint outline. You see it right there, the little outline. Okay. Yep. That's yep. an insert. Mm -hmm. So those are pressed into the head and they're cut mm -hmm. to whatever whatever this valve angle is, and the, or you know and then the or they'll have an interference. In any case, um, that's what happens. So when you when you do a valve job, you take that area. And you reprofile it, and you would mm -hmm. actually you would make it, you would sink some, mm -hmm. and then the valve would move upwards um, by whatever amount. I don't know what the tolerance or the threshold is on this cylinder head. Yeah. So can you just valve job it and throw in straight valves and be good? I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Yeah, it's I'll already been it's already been valve job once. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. So. Yeah. Uh oh. I've already had, right. I've already had the done when I uh, had the uh, springs put in, had them touched up. Uh huh. So I don't know how much he took off. Oh, you know, I, okay, yeah. Well, that's all gonna. It's all gonna matter. We'll we'll find out soon enough. But yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah. Wash that. Wow. Where's the piston? At? <laughs> oh, it's got yeah, it. Right. <laughs> you know what? Uh, and and this is the sad part is that the um these bores look okay. I know. I was gonna say. Yeah. They don't look. If the piston were just cracked a little bit and it was losing pressure and it didn't come apart like that, mm -hmm. you probably could have got away with a. Uh, 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 a honing, honing a ring, yeah. and a fresh piston, mm -hmm. you know, and then just one yeah. one fresh piston. Yeah, or no, the whole set. I oh, okay, the, uh, right. On a Ford set, you see how much oil is. <laughs> oh yeah. Thing. But it's not leaking though. The rings are still good. Yeah, rings are good. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, oh, if the guy, God. if the one guy makes three thousand horsepower. With one cylinder down, we can at least make 2,000 horsepower. <laughs> I don't see the big deal. <laughs> Turn the boost up. I wish that, uh, did you set that chunk? Was there, there weren't any rings on that oh, chunk, did you? No, shit. Oh, you ran, what, you ran out of space? No, my battery's dead. Oh. Fuck. All right, all right, well. Put it back together. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Put it back together. Yeah, Jeez. You've been here too long. You're getting it. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to get it. That's scary. <laughs> There's no coming back. There's no coming back. Oh.
But I'm saying there weren't any uh, rings on that uh, that piece of ch that chunk piece that you had, was it? Oh no, the ring's right down here. Oh. 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 They're okay. Yeah. Came in. Came in. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. It, yeah. This this might be a top compression ring because it's a uh, stainless steel. Okay. Um, I'm just guessing. I don't know. Once I pull one out, I'll be able to ah, see the stack. Right. And how and how they did it. But that's one. This is just plastic wrist pins. Uh, oh, here's the <laughs> <laughs> this little C clip here. Mm -hmm. This actually holds the wrist pin in like this. Mm. <laughs> Blow it all out. Yeah, it goes in the. Uh... I might be able to find it. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. Here, like this. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep. It went like that, and it held the wrist pin like that. Yep. For a time. For a time. Then they broke up. Then <laughs> <laughs> they had a little fight. <laughs> there was a problem, then someone had to move out. Right. <laughs> <laughs> damn. All right. <coughs> oh, I gotta find my damn lens. Oh, yeah, the wireless ones? Yeah, and we're going to do, um, I'm going to set up a second. And just like that, guys, the video's over. Sorry the video wasn't as good as I I wanted to be. Um, I don't have my damn camera lens, man. I don't know where my camera lens is. I thought it was in my bag, but obviously it's not. So I had to use my phone and, uh, you know, just, I mean, it's all right. Just the camera's so much better. Um, as far as like recording and editing things like that but whatever M wanted to make sure i got that video done and record it you guys saw the heads coming off uh one of the heads the left side head is damaged so i'm not sure uh what's going to happen with that but the next step um is to uh is to get the head sent off and uh and get the final word on that so that's kind of where we're at with it and uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me through everything. So I don't know who I'm gonna have rebuilt the heads yet. I'm still kind of looking at some options. So when I figure that out, I'm gonna make a video and uh, bring you guys with me. We'll go through the next steps and go from there. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the quick update, quick review. Engines off, heads off. Pistons are coming out next, and the uh, heads are getting sent out soon. So. Be sure to drop a comment, like, subscribe. You guys like the content I'm putting out on this motor. I'm going to keep doing it. Let me know. Appreciate all the love, man. See you.